What's up guys? It's your local Realize man Isaac here coming at you with the selfie cam and the Canon. So today I want to talk about the worst mindset that you ever have in regards to your personal development. The worst mindset and it's one that I see often is the one in which the person assumes they know it all already, that they know everything. If you look around, one would imagine that everybody would be into self-improvement and personal development. One would imagine that everyone would be into taking care of their health. One would imagine that everyone would be into reading about self-esteem, confidence, finance, and all these things that are really going to better your life. Yet, why is it that most people don't even look at the self-improvement section at the bookstore? Or most people don't even really work on it? It's because of a thing called ego. People often assume that they already have all the answers, that they already know how to make money, how to save money, that they already know how to present a public speech, that they already know how to approach the girl, that they already know how to fight, even though they've never been in a fight. People assume they already know it because when you work on your personal development, when you are working on these things and hoping to better yourself, it entails that you don't have all the answers. It means that you are a work in progress, that you're trying to reach a certain goal, that you're always improving. And people don't want to hear this. The average person doesn't want to hear this because it attacks their ego. It means that they don't already know it. They're not as kick-ass as they thought they were. They're not the superhero that they thought they were. So that's a terrible mindset to have. And it's going to get you nowhere in life. The opposite mindset, the antithesis, is one in which you are willing to learn from everybody. What you have to understand is everybody, regardless of who you think it is, can offer you something. You have not lived the life that someone else has lived, so you have not attained or gained certain perspectives that they might have attained. So you can really benefit from being able to listen, to listen and take the good and disregard the useless, just like Bruce Lee. Because everybody has something to offer. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's your barber. It doesn't matter if it's the mailman. It doesn't matter if it's the President of the United States, the Prime Minister of Australia, the CEO of some huge company. It doesn't matter if it's a five-year-old kid. Someone always has a little something that they can offer you. And if you are wise enough and willing to look for these things, you're going to make great progress in life. Because you're going to be ahead. You're going to be getting things from this guy, from this guy, from that person, from your auntie, from your daughter, from your cousin, from your neighbor. All these little bits of information that help you complete the picture of life. Bits of information that you would have never been able to gain yourself. Same thing with the reading biographies. You're practically getting all these little bits of information from somebody else's life. You haven't lived that life. You know what it's like to be Nelson Mandela in apartheid South Africa. You know what it's like to be Rockefeller. You don't know what it's like to be Ray Kroc, the guy who studied McDonald's. You don't know what it's like to be Jeff Bezos, the guy who studied Amazon. You don't know what it's like to be Will Smith. All these people that have lived extraordinary lives. Elon Musk. You can read about it and you can learn from it. And don't disregard the people in your life as well. So that's the video for today, guys. Try learn from everybody. Try get a little something from everybody and you're going to be leagues ahead of the average person. If you like that video, make sure you like, comment and of course subscribe. I'm just here chilling in this park right now, waiting for my mom to finish work as you can see. Works at a private hospital. I just finished gym and it was fucking great. But anyway guys, until tomorrow on this video day shit, peace, have a blessed, blessed have a blessed day. Day.